Hey everybody, it is Chasey Poo, and today's question is how many videos of one product can Chase make over the years on YouTube? Well, a lot. Today I'm going to be talking about the joystick. Yes, 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 yes. I've done like six reviews for them, but there are some improvements and some new things that are like incorporated into the joystick that I do want to talk about, so I wanted to make a video about it so that I can inform you everyone what's happening here. So the OG original joystick was called the Bono, okay? It looked like this and the inside of it had a white vibe, okay? That then was discontinued completely, and then they came out with this vibe here, which is the red vibe. As you can see, there's a thing here, but it's it's like that. You would put that in there, and that's how it went. Then they came out with a new joystick. This is the seven inch one, and they made a six inch one. Now, the vibe no longer fit in the smaller joystick, so they had to redesign the vibe. Welcome the second vibe, which is this one here. As you can see, it is much smaller than the original one. So this way it was able to fit in the joystick that is six inches and seven inches. Now there were some issues with this, all right? The first issue is that it would break a lot. So it actually still works, but the top would come off. So you could super glue it and it would work, but you have to make sure that the buttons really align with where the button is. And then the issue would also be that when you put it inside the seven inch one, this part would be a little loose. So what I actually did is I would put a like a wad of toilet paper all the way in the, in the end here so that it would give a little extra support. I don't know if it really helped, but I just, it was there for me. And then of course, the other issue is when you try to take the vibe out this would happen. So you would really have to like go in and hold the vibe like this and then take it out, which you should be doing anyways because you don't want anything to rip, but it's just, it was, it, it became a little bit annoying and I get a lot of people complained and then they decided, okay, let's redo the vibe again and they did. And I'm so glad that they did because now it is beautiful, it is sleek, it is powerful, it is waterproof, and you can even have a ring sold separately <laughs> um, with it, which means that this is doing its thing, and if you press the button, it turns on. It's on because of the ring, and then you can turn it off, and then it's just off, just like that. So the new Vibe is $80, and the ring is $25 if you wanna get that. Now, here's the other issue, okay? This is so sleek, it's great, it's waterproof, it's not gonna break, it feels good. Like it, I, if I take it out, it's not going to like discontinue and like disconnect. However, if you have the original joystick or even the second version of the joystick where the other vibe that was smaller works, unfortunately you can't use this vibe is what it says on the website. And let me show you why. This is what the hole looks like. It's and this is what the vibe looks like. If you put it in, so there is some sort of like suction however it ends here so you have this whole floppy in the front now i don't want to discourage anyone because i don't think it's fair that if you want a new vibe that is waterproof and you can control it with a ring that you need to buy a whole new like 295 dollar joystick i don't think that that's fair i get that the company is doing that whatever my own opinion is that there is a way for you to be able to buy the new vibe and modify it it's not going to be perfect and it's not going to fit perfectly however when i had to use the medium vibe in the joystick that still had extra room i did put a wad of toilet paper at the tip so that's what i would recommend you're going to have to, um, first of all, put a condom over this is what they're really suggesting because the silicone can react with the silicone, and I'll tell you a story in a second. So you could put a condom over it, and then I would honestly wrap some toilet paper around it and then stick it in here, as well as putting a wad of toilet paper here. Now, it's not going to be perfect, and of course, it's still going to be a little loose. However, it's going to be better than if you have a vibe that doesn't work. So that's my only thing. I will say though that they did redesign the new joystick and I am really impressed. So if you do wanna buy a new joystick, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the hole is much smaller than the original <laughs> hole. Uh, you cannot use the red vibe in this. It will not fit. However, the black vibe fits in here like a glove. Like it just like fits perfectly. Now, what they've changed is the reservoir. From I don't know if this is just me noticing this because I didn't see anything on the website, but the cum reservoir, right? So this part here, take your syringe, put water in it, corn syrup, corn syrup, no, corn starch and water, cum lube, whatever, and you put it in here and there you go. Usually when I would do that, some of it would come out, okay, on the original joystick. However, 
Um, with this one, I can fill this whole thing up with cum lube and put it in the hole and just go. And what's really cool is that it makes it harder, which is like, that's, that's something I did not expect. It actually makes this part harder because I think that they made the cum reservoir bigger. So when there's no, when there's just air, it's a little bit like loose like this, but when there's something inside of it, it's actually like girthier and harder, which I really, I, I did not expect that. And that was really like a surprise for me. And I really liked that. Now, the reason I'm telling you to put a condom over this, okay, eh, on the vibe in here. Now, I don't know if it's because it was super hot outside or there was no like air conditioning or something like that, but I accidentally left this in the first time I used it. And when I came back to it, it would appear that some of this silicone was starting to melt onto this one. You don't want that to happen. That happens. It has happened to many other toys of mine. And unfortunately, it could happen with this. It's unlikely, but I would really recommend put on a condom, a non-lubricated condom with your own lube that is only water-based is probably the best idea. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that there is a new vibe that you can get. Um, if you want me to kind of show you what all the three vibes look like, this is what they look like. So there is a significant difference. It is very, very, very much smaller. So you can understand why if you had like the first original joystick with this, this is gonna be really tough. If you had the second version with this here, it could, it's gonna be tough, but like even just the girthiness of it, I don't even know if I could show you like truly how different they are. So you can kind of see it there. Um, but yeah, so I, I I think it honestly sucks that you have to buy an entire new prosthetic if you want to enjoy the new vibe. I get it that for like aesthetics reason and for it to work properly and to do all these things, they needed to change it, especially because they needed to change kind of what the um, prosthetic feels like. And honestly, like when I tell you that they, it's like they added more silicone on the top and they added a bigger cum reservoir, like it actually makes a huge difference and I'm really impressed. But yeah, so the new vibe is really great in, in all, like if you want to get a new one and get the new vibe, totally recommended because it is really fantastic, especially because it is harder on top and the cum reservoir is bigger. However, if you don't want, or you're not in a position to be able to buy another joystick, but you're like, mm, I kind of do want to try the new vibe. I think it would be okay for you to buy it, but you do need to modify it, okay? You absolutely need to modify it, unless you're fine with it being like, like, you know, it's not, like you could feel it, um, but I'm sure that you can reinforce that. So that's just my little tip, because uh, I think it, it, we should be able to do things and get things. Anyways, that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, please let me know below. I'll put all the links in the description below. And uh, yeah, so again, still my favorite prosthetic. I still use this like literally every single time I have sex. I love it for everything, for anal, for everything. <sighs> Great times. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.